stream of season two uh, or season three, depending on your interpretation of the rebuild. I guess technically season two where we're actually rebuilding uh, season three in technicality because it's, you know, 2025 at this point um, going into uh, our actual season with a real roster this time. Uh, so we spent a lot of time last stream and, uh, now since there's some videos up, uh, last stream going through and finishing that season, we pull off a three and 13 season, which is honestly pretty, pretty good with how, uh, poor the roster was constructed. And then we went to the draft, actually drafted a top quarterback. I wasn't necessarily certain I wanted to, but he was there on the board. So we took him. And I feel like you just got to take the guy if he's there. And so we'll hope that we'll be able to build an actual real roster here. So to get you a peek in what we're looking at uh, going into the season, uh, we are going to start moving a little bit slower. We're going to be going probably once every other week now instead of just every single week. I'm just trying to kind of keep some pacing so that you can actually see a good season. So, uh, if I take a look at our roster here, you can kind of get a first look at what we're actually dealing with. We have Shadur Sanders as our QB going into this season. So, rookie, we have an actual franchise quarterback to deal with. Hopefully this team that we have built, I mean, it's kind of a great core uh, to start with, is going to end up being something special. So we got Shadur at QB, Jalen Warren over here at running back. Uh, we drafted this Andrew Paul, I think, from Georgia. Yeah, we drafted him late. I can't remember if it was the fourth or the fifth round. Uh, we will see that once we play our first game and the draft class stuff comes up. We've already built a nice core of receivers. Actually, I'm going to take my uh, face cam off quick. Uh, that way you can see the everything. So give me one second. Because I had the wrong menu up. So... Receiver, we drafted Malik Neighbors last year with a top. I think we drafted him at pick 16, I want to say, if I if I remember correctly. Uh, is it contracts? Skills? No. Is it? Yeah. Pick 16 in the first round. So we had him with a first round pick, pick 16 last year. He had a decent season. As you can see, he got over his 1,000 yards. He had a pretty good season that he put together. But it kind of paled in comparison to the absolute stud of our offense, Johnny Wilson from Florida State, who last year was a fifth-round pick. And as you can see, broke the rookie receiving record with 13-34 and 10 touchdowns, 110 catches. And that's without me really playing many games. I think I played three Three games total, and the last game I know I throw it to him a lot because I was trying to get him make sure he actually got that dev trait, but and we lost. I was also wanted to see if we could win and get four games. So once it was kind of over that, but Johnny is probably going to be a big piece of our core. Specifically, if you say big, he's six foot seven, two thirty seven. I mean, this guy's the guy, uh, size wise. Uh, we brought in a veteran wide receiver, Dustin Hopkins, or. Er, Dustin Hopkins. Sorry, I'm in the Browns mood. I'm thinking of uh I'm thinking of our kicker. Uh DeAndre Hopkins, D Hop, and then we also got this rookie wide receiver out of Miami. He's 5'9, but man is he fast. He ran a 4'2, 440. Uh, so he is going to be a speedster, a kick returner, all of that. And then we have some uh we have an un, uh, UDFA right here, I think. Uh brought in Jalen Warren out of free agency. I already mentioned that, but that was our big free agent pickup on the offensive side. Uh, on our offensive line, we drafted with our other first round pick, uh, Tegra Chabola, I, I think. Or was he a second rounder at that time? I think. Now I got to remember. Awards, second round. Which is crazy because this is this is a Ohio State left tackle. So, uh Pretty nice to be able to get that. So we have a franchise left tackle. We have Tyler Guyton at right tackle. Uh, we have a not necessarily franchise, but a young center. Uh, this is just kind of a, a placeholder left guard. And we got the boy, 
Logan Bruss sitting over here at right guard. So we have our offensive line still needs some work to do. Tight end really needs some work to do. So Logan Thomas is kind of a filler for now. We tried to Guara last year. He had a decent season, but he didn't develop at all. So I don't think the Guara is going to be around. He was just kind of there as like had a good season. Might as well reward him, bring him back, give him another contract. But he didn't really develop. And Logan Thomas was still sitting there. So I was like, I'll bring in a veteran. Just to have a guy for Sanders to throw to. That way he can develop himself. On the defensive side. We, for free agency, we really didn't do anything. We we brought in Marcus Peters. Uh, you know, another guy that really wasn't much. Just kind of there, sitting around. Uh, we brought in a veteran, Robert Quinn, who is not going to play a lot, but he's there. We made a, I think, I, I think we signed uh, Kinlaw and Mo Hurst as D tackles, just because I haven't been able to draft any. Uh, Landon Jackson last year had a fantastic year. I don't think he got defensive rookie of the year, uh, but maybe he did. Yes, he did. Defensive rookie of the year. Uh, not, not really like a crazy statistical year for him. But once again, we were just hitting on our late round picks. Landon Jackson was, um, I mean, he only had five and a half sacks, but he had 21 TFLs, just a great defensive year. And that's another fifth round pick that we took. So we really knocked it out of the park in the fifth round last year uh, in our draft. And I hope that we knocked it out of the uh, park with a fifth round in this draft. Uh, we got Will Johnson uh, as our second first round pick, uh, as well as we got... Deshaun McCullough, uh, I think in the second round or third. I can't remember exactly what pick we got him with uh, uh, right now off the top of my head. He's playing middle linebacker simply because we just don't have middle linebackers. And we also have a few young guys here. And Kayvon Thibodeau, who we got in a kind of steal trade when we traded down from pick one last season uh, and let the Giants take Caleb Williams, who they led all the way to the NFC Championship. So... I think they're winning that deal right now, but we'll take it. Uh, special teams, we just have Dicker and Tressway, the guy. So what we're getting to look out for, and I'm going to put my uh, face back up. So bam. Hi, I'm back. Uh, is we are going to, I think we will download another one. I have not gone to 2026 yet. I don't even know if there's really good prospects in the 2026 draft on here, but I want to keep it. I want to keep it realistic, and I and I have not played with the sliders enough to be able to feel like that's fair until I have you know all these guys, and I don't really know any of these players in 2026. So, well, I know him. Maybe I should have waited to draft him. Just kidding. I think we got a good deal with uh, Sanders. So. Uh, positionally, let me take a look here. A couple good tight ends. There were some tight ends in the draft that I wanted, uh, but looks like we actually have a decent amount of tight ends here in this draft that might be draftable. Interior offensive line. I don't really see anything here for interior offensive line, so maybe right guard, but that's a position that we need that I don't know how we're going to fill right now. Uh, defensive end. I don't think we are going to be able to, re like, go get a replacement for Quinn yet. And Quinn's kind of just there at the moment. We do need a D-tackle. So D-tackle could be a focus this year. We could always use more corners. But I do kind of like the cornerback core we are building. And we could always use some safeties. But, uh, uh looks like a pretty good safety class. So... We got some weapons out here. We got some players we could go get uh, in the draft. I think the question is, how do we want to set this up? Um, Let's look around here. So we know what needs we have, but I want to check. So they say outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and center are not good. So we want no linebackers pretty much. Wide receiver, quarterback, corner, out west, tight end in the central, obviously, Iowa. Um, so... We will be putting a probably a two star tight end uh, scout right there. Uh, wide receiver, right end, right guard is a weakness there. D tackle is a strength down there. So 
we'll probably be looking for defensive ends. Maybe that'll be our primary national scout uh, is a DN scout. It does not look like like D tackle is one of the worst uh, in in the nation here. So, oh, but it's actually not one of the better ones in the nation. I misread that. Okay, so let's go manage our scouts and fire all the ones we got. So goodbye. 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 And goodbye. And let's get some free agent scouts. So first off, kind of want to focus on tight end. Um, let's go straight down to the bottom and see what we can get for tight end scouts. Uh, national wide, no. Is there a two-star one that we could get? Perfect. Two-star tight end scout and safety. So we will hire you. That's our two-star. Uh, if we look at, I think it was D-end was another position we should be scouting as a big one. Uh, let's just make that the national one. D-end, D-tackle. All right. Now, there was two locations where I wanted to have a specifically a D-end scout. Um, we could do tight end, D-end here for the uh, east, uh, northeast. We want probably a D-tackle scout. D-tackle, interior offensive line. I know there's not a lot of good interior offensive line. And we don't need wide receiver anymore. So maybe cornerback tight end out west. And I believe that's it. So we're going to assign you nationally. We are going to assign you to the central. We're going to assign you to the northeast. You get to be the southeast. And you're out west. Now let's go take a look. So does this make sense? We have a defensive tackle, defensive end out there. Defensive tackle is the best, is one of the better prospects out there. We have corner out here which is good because then we get some bonuses there, but also tight end. Tight end safety is one of the worst ones out here, but I don't really know how else we're going to get a safety. Maybe we'll find a stud in like the fifth round at safety. DNT, uh, uh, TN tight end. So we got uh, both the ends there up there and D tackle interior offensive line. This is one of the only regions that does not have a horrible interior offensive line. I don't know if that's just because they have no offensive line, which could also be why. Um, but yeah, looks like we got our scouts down. I am happy with that for scouting. That'll be a good focus. Opening, er, let's do our... What was I, I going to do? Guess we do these three things, then we do our weekly strategy. Um, and I think we got to play week one. You got the nastiest franchise team right now? I mean, I know that you're a couple seasons in. How, uh, what does it look like? All right. Thibodeau, please have a better week this week than he has for the last three times he's gotten a scenario. All right. So Thibodeau's got a scenario to get two combined sacks. Um, opening day keys. I think the goal will be, I know it's kind of risky, but I want to have a dominating offense because I feel like I can put together a very good uh, running back. That's a, a horrible idea, but I, I also think Sanders can move. So the this Giants team is at uh, is a very good team, though, so we'll see. Maybe I should have done passing. We do have absolute studs at receiver. Rookie QB1. I always do just show flashes. After the end of Step Brothers. Hey, that's a great movie choice. Snow Day uh, movie choice. Little Step Brothers. All right. Saquon, Caleb Williams, we're going to defend the short pass because that's generally the best way to play good coverage because they do a lot of checkdowns. And 
and oh, I should have. I should have said I was gonna pass. Brandon is singing, so I'm almost done. It's a good sign that you're getting close. Um, all right, let's see who I want to change here. I want McCollum to develop. I want Will Johnson to develop. I want the left tackle to develop. I actually don't really care about the slot receiver. I like him, but I I don't care that much. I'd rather have Guyton develop as well, and then I don't necessarily need my backup running back to develop like that. If anything, do I go Johnny or do I go Landon? Because Landon has been amazing. This uh, Landon's already superstar. Caitlin King. But I think we're going to build the offense. Those guys are going to develop well. So I'm going to go Landon because I want him to be a stud. It's nice to have an actual legit player be one of the guys that ends up being a stud for you down the road. So we are going to shoot for getting one interception. Allowing 24 or less. 300 offensive yards. And I don't want to do win the turnover battle because I will turn the ball over personally. And start training. We're not going to do the mini games. All right. So, weekly training good. Let's get ourselves ready. This is going to be where we go into week one. Let's upgrade the players first. Will Johnson. Ooh. I guess slot, probably. No speed there. That's what I'm always looking for. Front stopper. Uh, I'm going to go pass coverage. Just because I think that means that his, oh, his awareness is low. But he's 21. He's 21. That's good. A younger guy will develop faster. All right. I think we're good. I think we're set. We are going to go into this game. Actually, let's just uh, to give before we do this, before we do this, let's take a look at the Giants roster, do a little scouting. This team, like I said, went to the NFC Championship game last year. They are running Caleb Williams at QB, still paying Jones a boatload of money. Saquon is still sitting around here. Wide receiver, their best receiver is Slayton, so they don't have a great receiving core. They still have Waller, who, once again, is not that great. So they don't have a lot of weapons out uh, like beyond their guys. And that their tackles, Evan Neal really hasn't developed either. So they actually have a decent offensive line, which seems backwards for them. And then Dexter Lawrence. And I think on def oh Bobby Ukariki uh, has developed a lot. But I think defensively beyond that, they don't have a whole lot of weapons. So we can kind of... Jake Elliott? So, we are a worse team. We are a young team. But what we are going to do is we're going to go in there. We're going to try to beat the New York Giants. The defending... I think they won the division last year. Defending division champs. We're going to get some vengeance. I'm going to throw some music on. We're going to focus. So I will hopefully, I, I'm going to still attempt to read chat. I should be able to, but the game gets intense. You know, I will get distracted. I'm moving this way. Sorry if I'm not facing the camera. I, I need to still buy an extension for the camera. But welcome to your Louisville Condors. Oh, I was hoping we were returning because I wanted to try with uh, Perez right away. 
Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. They had no run Actually, back on this one. So my brain is backwards. I didn't have the glasses while staring at the computer. Or not while staring at the computer, but while staring at this. All right, Caleb Williams had a crazy year last year. So... Oh, I wanted them to actually throw that, but I think he's throwing it away. So, down the backfield, got some pressure. It's a good way to start. Wow, I might have to go back and do my uh, defensive substitutions. Thibodeau's there. Let's go! The rookie! The rookie, Will Johnson. Let's go. That's a great way to start the season. And I didn't want to take the uh, turnover spread. What am I saying? That uh, win the turnover battle. Brain's not working sometimes. All right. Time for Shadur Sanders to make his NFL debut. Actually, I like that. Three down lineman. We just got to run away from Dexter Lawrence. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot. My offensive line is uh, paper towels. Uh, Dexter Lawrence is going to have a day. Johnny? Oh. Should go next time. So, yeah, Sanders was pick four, Will Johnson was 26, McCullough was six, and then Shibula was a 30. So, I guess I I mixed up a little bit of the order of those. Oh, oh no. You kidding me. Second snap. If we lose our... Our stud receiver in the second snap of the season. Losing Malik Neighbors would be rough. Maybe stretch. Come on, Jalen Warren. All right, not too bad. Minor injury, so Johnny can take his place for now. D-hop. D-hop. Sanders' first touchdown. Wide open. D-hop in the end zone. The veteran out here to help support the rookie QB. Oh, I almost missed that. So I still think I made a mistake with the play, uh, with the scheme uh, for the week in trying to go for running the ball. I was not thinking, and I was like, oh, yeah, let me just run the ball. I was thinking of a completely different fr franchise team I have where I have a really good offensive line. This team does not. And going against Dexter Lawrence is not going to make that easy. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? All right, Going they should probably run it here. Oh, they didn't. Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they oh, I thought Will had, it. Will had a chance. Get another break up right there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Where's the Saquon Barkley runs? There they are. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And who was that in the backfield? Dude, Will Johnson. He's coming up big. All 
I wonder if in this universe they also won the national championship. Oh, oh, oh. Yikes. Yikes. Like I said, we don't have beat tackles. <laughs> Um, we're just going to play zone, pretty much, because we're just going to kind of play around and see... Oh, DeMar Hamlin. Why is he in, though? Oh, my God. All right. Well, maybe we can't run nickel. I don't know if we have the men for that, so... Let's go 4-3. Tampa 2. Two of those over here. Oh my god. See, if I was smart and I didn't like go heavily after that run, that read option would have been Thibodeau's TFL right there. Hey, that pick by Will Johnson might change this game around. So, I don't know if we're going to get a lot of pressure because we don't have D-tackles. Uh, so. And even our linebackers are not very good. They're young. So. Oh no. Okay. Some point they're going to run this, but just find the soft spot, find the dead zone and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Kellen King with a good stop. I should have put stifling defense on. Just me having regrets about my decisions for scenarios. The whole whole stream. That's the whole stream. Go cover one, maybe. That puts that puts Thibodeau in coverage, man. That didn't make much of a difference. That was, I don't know whose man that was. But easy, easy drive for them to just kind of walk down and score on me. Hey, can we get our first preview of our new 98 speed kick returner? Who is never going to touch the ball back. Alright. Let's see what we can do with a less short field. Alright, bingo cross. Like this play. But I don't know if I like the weapons I have to use on it. Jalen Warren? Oh, Perez would have been open too. But hey, we got it. Get Perez on a drag. See if that helps. Oh my god, Johnny. You're going to leave an all pro six foot seven wide receiver wide open? Johnny! You can't stop him. He's too good. This team is just Johnny. <laughs> I don't need anything else. And we're going to kick this out of the back. Oh, I messed it up. All right, maybe I need a blitz because uh, I'm not getting any pressure. Charles. 
So we're gonna we're gonna throw a nice little blitz here. I do need to get uh, Thibodeau some pressure because Thibodeau needs to get in the backfield. Other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front. Sucks. I just don't have the net. I don't know guys that could possibly stop that. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Here's the option. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. All right, what's your roster looking like? Cam Robinson. And was this this was a fantasy draft, right? Through one quarter, 14 7. Because that's a crazy offensive line to draft. Ready to roll for the second wow. quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the how many seasons? Like, how many seasons are you in if Zay's a 99 for you? Move on first down. A handoff to Barkley on the option. Taken down. I still can't get pressure. I'm blitzing. I can't get pressure. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards. I just need to stay back and just do coverage. Oh my God, the stamina, McCullough. Second down, here's Barkley again. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places um, and not allowing press. any lanes to open up. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Ooh, there we go. Good defensive. So fantasy draft. <laughs> and that one hits All right, we got a seven point lead against the Giants here. And it continues Johnny Wilson carrying. Opposite Johnny. The GOAT. Johnny Wilson. I'm surprised he can run routes that well. I will go Jalen Warren, run away from Dexter Lawrence. Did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Second and three. I've decided I'm going to play this one on all pro until we get to like an 80 overall. Because if I play this on all Madden with. Uh, you know, 60s on my offensive line and uh, a 70 overall quarterback that I'm going to just throw picks the whole time. So, Jalen Warren's not getting anything. See, horrible offensive line. No disrespect to, to, to my boy Logan Bruss, but he cannot block. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to his left. Gets past one man. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A good decision in the end. The All right. Run gets him nine yards at a first. I want to. I'm gonna save that play that I did earlier. Um, drag verticals. I'm gonna try it again. But Johnny, oh, Johnny's in that spot too. But he looks tired this time. He pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Come on. I guess that's the. That's the difference of having like a 80, like an 80 speed tight end. Now that's the killer. All right. Well, that's a way to start a season that you thought was going to be a good, good start. I hope it's not bad. I guess we'll see what his injury is once, you know. I don't know if we'll see it before we get back on offense, but. Will Johnson. Absolute stud. Alright, we'll let Jameis play uh, until he's healthy. I'm not letting my guy. I'm not letting my guy play hurt. Gotta get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They gotta find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he is caught. 
Hunter Renfro just I'm, I'm, I'm praising Will Will Johnson this whole time and Hunter Renfro just routed him up. And we're gonna run with Jameis Winston for the rest of this quarter. Great. Maybe not. Maybe Ben Perez will take a kick, a t kick return. Dude, you have to try doing one of the rebuilds with the like actual prospects and stuff. All right, looks like we got Jameis. Also, where's Johnny's abilities? Well, they've got it first and ten. Now it's the backup Winston. On the move. Jameis has got the field to run. Jameis? Jameis is moving? I lost my tight end? Do we not have a strength program? Are the Condors secretly the Browns? What the hell? Oh, Jalen. Jalen? There we go. There we go, Jalen. Dude, I, I'm just reading your team. It's just like, it looks like a mutt team. <laughs> Who cares about kicker? I got Cameron Dicker. And goodbye to our tight end, who kind of gave us an interception. So I, no, I don't know if I really want him in right now. All right, Johnny. Johnny's my emergency target always. If you ever concerned, look for Johnny. Dude's a stud. He did not win his route, but Jalen Warren did. Jalen Warren did. Jameis Winston. The Jalen Warren. I don't think that was the team I thought I was going to have going in this week. I'm going to miss this one, aren't I? Nope. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. I would have liked that to be Shador Sanders throwing to Johnny Wilson or to Malik Neighbors. But I'll take it. Try and start this drive in the air. Turn around, Rod Moore. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. Looking to throw. Jump. I guess it's Tibbet. I explain. Takes Stroud a lot longer to progress than you thought. I mean. Quarterbacks do take a while to progress, but it also does depend on whatever sliders you're running. I, I generally put quarterback sliders pretty slow, but also he's, in, I guess, well, I don't know what stats you're getting with them. You kind of got to get generally some ridiculous stats in this game to get. Are you kidding me? And there goes Kalen King. I see... We skipped the training program this season, guys. Torn labrum. This will not be the season to make the playoffs, I don't think. Oh my god, this is brutal. I love it. You're exactly right. On second down, here's Barkley. We're just getting beat up out here. We're winning. We're winning, but we are just getting beat up. We are just not as tough as them. We're going to have to make free agent moves, like, going into week two. 
And now we got Marcus Peters out there, so. A little slow. Uh, dollar Tampa 2? I don't know. And that's a 68 overall corner over there. So. Mar Hamlin out on the field, getting the snaps. Oh, they're going to pass. What are we doing over here, guys? Nothing. We're doing nothing. I'm not player of the year. He's played three snaps. He deserves it. I might have to go through and fix some uh, Two of their three red zone trips so far defensive uh, substitutions and stuff. But I also might switch to... Uh, no! Get the pick! You're the veteran. Amani Oriar... Oh my god, I can't say his name. Amani Oriari... 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 Ori something. Amani. Darren Waller, why not? I think I might switch to playing offense only in the second half because I can't stop a nosebleed. Oh! No, they didn't overturn it. And because I keep getting all of my guys injured, there's absolutely zero chance I'm going to get Thibodeau in the backfield to get his scenario. So... I'm, I think I'm going to switch to just playing offense only here. First, I'm going to return a kick for a touchdown. Ben Perez time. Okay, he's fast, but I, I, I'm not taking good routes yet. Right, and like I said, I'm going to go to Super Sim quick. Well, actually, what was the challenge for Thibodeau? Two TFLs. So I literally just need to get into the backfield. And I just haven't been able to because I can't get any pass rush. Which, granted, I shouldn't be, but... Play action now. Not missing Johnny. Not missing Johnny. You can't miss Johnny. Dude, the game loves Fred Warner. Guy who made franchise loves the Cowboys. That's what he really loves. Oh my God, Jameis! Jameis comeback player of the year. Who needs Shadur Sanders? I have Jameis Winston. We're getting ourselves in a field goal range. Look at that, 39-yard field goal for Cameron Dicker. Now that's a drive for you. Jameis Winston walks his way down the field. And we get the ball at half. Jalen Warren? Nope. 28 yards rushing. Jameis is still out there. Oh, 
Johnny! 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 That's why you need to play with real draft classes. Because that's a real dude. Some people are out here like, who's your favorite wide receiver in the class? Is it Marvin Harrison? Is it Roma Dunze? Is it Malik Neighbors? No. It's Johnny freaking Wilson. I'm taking Johnny. I'm taking Johnny Wilson with a top five pick. Oh, Cleveland takes him. Actually, I don't know. I don't actually know if he's very good. <laughs> Just like a Madden. Aguara? There we go. Jameis is throwing darts right now. Jameis Winston comeback player of the year. Oh. Jalen Warren got here and he's like, oh, wait. <laughs> uh, the offensive line sucks? I, I, I should have thought about that. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and ten. Here's Warren. Oh, never mind. Jalen Warren, big run. Jalen Warren's tired. So is their whole D-line. Jalen Warren. The trainers getting their work, getting getting paid. But Andrew Paul. Had Fred Warner as fast as Josh Downs. <laughs> Oh my god. Our offensive line just started blocking out of nowhere. You gonna tell me what happened to Jalen Warren yet? Nope. Strip ball aggressive though. You follow Logan Bruss? Nope. We follow Logan Bruss. Let's go. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Ah. Oh, Jameis finally missed somebody. The lead neighbors is open, though. I guess that's one thing in Madden, but I guess it makes it fair. Otherwise, you would just have your your wide receiver always win every. Frank Gore Jr. I don't even know why he's in the game, but he is. I'll say that looks like a blitz. I should not have Johnny. Completing a quick throw out wide. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. 
great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Oh, Jameis finally inaccurate. Sam Ford is great. I mean, he's also great in the uh, in Mutt, too. We are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff weekend. This is the National Football League. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. As we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. And now the putter, Tressway, as he says. Nice coffin corner that. No, I check off. That kicks all the way into the end zone. Both offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. See a lot of Frank Gore Jr. now all of a sudden. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And hold on here. There's Andrew Paul. Last run. It looks like we have a I don't have into Jalen Warren, but. Dude's gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those blocks were crazy. Johnny Wilson and that uh, Foster. He was like a sixth round or seventh round tight end I drafted. Uh, dude, I'm going to live react stream to that game because I just. I, I, I think that'd be fun. Um, and, I mean, I think we're going to win. I just. I don't know. I don't know how much by. I think it'll be close. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. But I certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down mark. But I do think we're going to win. But they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds I don't know. Crazy. I'd say probably... Uh, there we go. Face mask. Give me 15. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty is going to go ahead and give the other side. Oh, Shooter is back. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. The bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Here's a give up the middle. Andrew Paul, two rushing touchdowns this game. Where did this offensive line come from? We just all of a sudden started blocking. Like, I talked a little bit of trash, and we have been blocking so well. Just kind of out of nowhere, too. Like, this is not a good offensive line. I mean, okay, I know Dexter Lawrence went out. But did he make that much of a difference? I mean, maybe he does. Come on, Shador. You got to hit Johnny. Oh, we're on the 43. I don't see any hurting going for it. Shador really doesn't have a lot of snaps in. All right. That's stupid. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Well, that's going to hurt Shadur's uh, uh, numbers, but... The 
They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. But after this week, this looks like Jameis's team. I'm just kidding. I'm not. Oh, there we go. There we go, Shador. Hey, remember how I was saying I'm not sure if I'm going to get those rushing yards? That's 168 rushing yards on the game right there. I see. I I like to play defense, but it totally depends on the defensive guys you got and whatever schemes you're running and the difficulty level, because the computer throws straight to checkdowns the whole game. So that's why I don't play it personally. Um, and right now I just can't because like my guys are not going to get a single ounce of pressure while I'm playing defense. I mean maybe they don't deserve to make pressure or get pressure, but. But I think it'd be unrealistic if you said a whole defense never got a sack all season, too. So. Deguara. So Sanders' uh, stat line doesn't look very good, but I don't think that's too bad. When you consider that he missed half the game. Oh my god. Alright, well, we took a sack. Not because I wanted to. Because there was nothing to do. And they're kind of boxing Johnny now. Oh my God, Shadur! <laughs> Let's go! I think it's a pretty decent debut for Shadur Sanders right there. Puts up 45. Him and James give James some credit too. But 45 points in your rookie debut. Let's look at those stats quick. Caleb Williams, 20 for 29, three touchdowns and a pick. Jameis, nine for 11 with a touchdown. 149. Shadur Sanders, not as great, but he had that stupid interception by Okariki, so I can't really blame him there. Andrew Paul, pretty good game right there. Two touchdowns. Uh, Warren had 66 yards, and Sanders had 47 yards. Crazy rushing attack right there. Johnny! Had that one big catch, but really never got the ball a lot after that. Malik Neighbors only had 39 yards that game, so we still need to spread the ball out a little bit. I'm going to assume... Oh my god. See? This is why... This is what... Well, I, I also wasn't really throwing much with, with Jameis, so... But this is why I switched. Look, when I was playing offense only, I had no pressure at all. I let the computer do it. Kayvon Thibodeau gets two sacks. Landon Jackson gets a sack. Suddenly, we've got two guys with TFLs. Like... I mean, I got that pick with Will Johnson, but... I want to watch that uh, Okariki pick again. Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, I guess it's real, but like in Madden, that never happens. So, I'm kind of annoyed that I got picked off for that. But hey, we're 1-0. That's a 1-0 start to the season. Oh, we didn't get 450 offensive yards. We must have had like 448. Logan Bross. The GOAT. We're getting him a Super Bowl. Camp standout. Told you I'm going to be great. I know, Thibodeau. Finally finally showed up here. 10,000 XP! We'll need to see what he needs to do next week. It's probably going to be another ridiculous thing. 
Key to victory. Now, we dealt with some pretty big injuries this week, so we'll have to see, but we're going to have to look at those. 4,500 4, XP for the offensive linemen. So we want to see there. Give it to me, Logan Bruss. Well, Sanders only didn't play half the game, so. I think he, I think he showed flashes. I don't think that that's fair to put that on him. All right, now we got to look at the bad part. Okay. Four weeks for Kalen King for a torn labrum and ooh, broken collarbone. Um, I probably need to look at uh, some free agency next week as we are going to advance to the next week. Oh, well, there goes a bunch of our practice squad, guys. All right. So let's go look at our depth chart again quick because we might need to make some moves. Uh, I don't think we do, but... Oh, I don't want Chris Rodriguez. I'm going to cut him and go see if I can find a veteran. And then at corner, what are we dealing with? Oh, don't want him either. But that might be what I have to deal with. All right. All right, let's go see if we can find a veteran. We're going to cut Chris Rodriguez. Uh, we want a different backup running back than that. I'm fine with Frank Gore Jr. being the one. Oh, my. Why is he available? And there's no veterans just sitting around. But, okay. Realistically, I'm trying to bring in a back who's going to run behind a bad offensive line who's not going to play very much. So, realistically, I'm not bringing in Zach Moss. He's going to a contender. I'm bringing in a guy who maybe... <sighs> Let's see here. We want... Probably a receiving back. Just bring in Nico Hines, I guess. Yeah. We're going to bring in Nico Hines. I think that's probably the most realistic way to say it. We'd bring in a receiving back to replace Jalen Warren. Andrew Paul will become our main primary back for the season. We're going to cut Chris Rodriguez because I don't want him. Actually, there's a couple guys here I can cut. I'm going to cut... Uh, what do they have him at? Yeah. I'm going to cut Moffitt. I don't even want him. So now we have three or like a, a decent amount of running backs on the roster. Um, let's go to the depth chart. We are not going to play week two. We're going to sim week two. We're going to play every other week. But we're going to put um, Nico there. And then that should put my third down back as Nico. Yeah. No disrespect to Frank Gore Jr. He just had a horrible year last year, and I don't necessarily want to be relying on him. Actually, let's go quick um, fill up our practice squad again because a bunch of teams just poached our practice squad. The 
Esther corner, preferably. I don't really want him. He's just going to sit on the practice squad. I'm mad that Control Clark got poached, but... We're just going to basically replace the three guys we lost in our practice squad. All right. Let's check to see what Thibodeau... Actually, we have 56 staff points. So how are we going to spend them? Um... Offensive development, maybe? Mm. Maybe defensive development. I bet you that is something that I needed right there. We're going to continue to boost our DC up. Okay, but now, um, and now Johnny should actually have his abilities, which I guess was kind of the main point there. All right, camp standout. What do you think Thibodeau needs? Probably two more TFLs. Three combined sacks and TFLs. What do you think? Should I use her Thibodeau for this game? Or should I just let the computer do it and see if he can get what he just did against the against the Giants? All right. When Thibodeau doesn't get his upgrade, I'm blame. I'm I'm, I'm going to take all the blame off of myself and my horrible play. I'm gonna put it on you because you made the decision for me. Just kidding. <laughs> so this game, I guess we played offense only last game. We'll play defense only this game. Um, all right. Weekly strategy, then. They have a rookie, Q or not a rookie, second year QB, Drake May. Who got to sit a year behind Aaron Rodgers. I would think they will probably run the ball a lot. And we are going to... Oh, my God. Let's counter, I guess. Um, I guess Andrew Paul, uh, I, I don't necessarily want him to have that. So Two plus passing touchdowns. If we're doing defense, we will go for a lower thing. We're playing the Jets. We're also going to put a lower thing for offensive coordinator. And we are going to try to win the turnover battle playing defense. Now, I think Sanders is only going to be a superstar. So I'm not expecting, like, oh, my, oh my God, we're going to have an uh, X-Factor quarterback going into this next season. But All right, upgrade players. This should boost our offensive line a lot. Thibodeau. And he almost has another upgrade already. He's such an easy user, but you got to remember, he's going to get no assistance from any other player on the roster. It is going to be him and him. Because Landon Jackson has a lot, but I think he has most of them from... Yeah, let's see. I just got the ability slot, so he is a superstar. Um... That's our left tackle. Tyler Guyton. I'm just trying to boost their uh, 
I really shouldn't care. Okay, but we got to boost the offensive line. Hopefully, that'll let Andrew Paul get a bunch of yards this week. But also, we should probably use the defense uh, specifically so that our whole offense doesn't get hurt this week. So, and I'm normally a middle linebacker user, not an edge rusher user. So, all right, let's hope Drake May's horrible. All right, here we go. We'll play defense only. Let's see what we can do for Thibodeau. I need to adjust stuff still. Now Hall to start the drive. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Well, the numbers for Hall and I know it's a close game. I might, I might take over some offense and play Cohen, you know? It's a pretty mediocre week for him on the ground. Certainly a boon to his offense if he can get a little more. So this will probably be a pass. This week. He should get some more early carries as his team tries to get him into a rhythm. Down throw here, hold in. And stoppage here. Haha. <laughs> Goodbye, Kadarius Tony. This game. Injuries are so common. Look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And he's not even in. On first and ten, it's home. Hamlin almost got a <laughs> tackle for loss, though. Will Johnson's out. We have no corners. And if that's Will Johnson, that's a pick. Where's Thibodeau? He's just, he's tired already? Get it, Thibodeau. I'll take it. I don't think that's going to count. That's a fumble, but... I'm going to stay in coverage. I'm going to let Thibodeau just rush. But hey, look, we got the lead. Amari Cooper? Wait, what is this offense? Amari Cooper, Garrett Wilson, and Kadarius Toney? Oh my God. Did you see how slow Hamlin just reacted to that? Our whole defense is already exhausted. So, if so, then I don't even want him on the team. They're gonna look to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So they just need to get over here and across. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh, that is actually great. Cross actually stopped him, but he just broke the tackle because Cross is a little too small. But was tired. It is a little hard also to get some pass rush when um, he doesn't have any superstar abilities. 
And the other guy who's got superstar abilities is too is too low of an overall for it to really matter. Here's Hall again. Oh, fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. This is caught. Touchdown. Having no corners is really going to kill us this week. So a first and ten coming up for the offense here in the second quarter. Let's see what this defense can do. Maybe that's really good, and we'll run man, and we'll just... Of course. I have zero faith for being able to get back there with, uh, with Thibodeau. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Peter's broken up. And don't play all Madden, man. You got to adjust the sliders a lot, man, in order to get the game to work the way you want it to work. It's kind of dumb, but... Me, man. I mean, it's Brees Hall. He's a great running back, but oh my god, we can't do anything. Or 4-6, maybe? Three plays, three first downs. Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That's my spot with Thibodeau. Not like Thibodeau would have been able to do anything back there in coverage, but... But not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 36 yards on the play. Running their plays over and over during the week and often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Touchdown! Rod Moore's gotten beat twice. Time now to see what this defense can do. Second quarter as the offense starts out first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll go down at the 26. Following a I don't know if I'm going to be able to get stats with this defense, man. It's just not... I just don't have enough. I, I really don't have enough to be able to make anything work. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Ball again on second down. See? Oh, my God. Holding. Sweet. Don't get tired. Stop it. Everybody dive. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, that duck could have been a pick. But I would have thought that it would have been thrown in my face. Maybe I should just run nickel, like, just zone coverage, because this quarterback's not good. And also, because Thibodeau's not in again. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Oh my god, Rod Moore. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. I say he's not good, but look at his yardages and stuff right now. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them. All of it is because my free safety is horrible with this game. And also, look, Thibodeau's not in again. So yeah, I think in order to get Thibodeau even a chance, I'm going to have to 
uh, stop playing defense because by playing, he his stamina is going down, so he's not even coming into the game. Kinlaw got a sack. I, I don't turn off progressive fatigue, though, because on offense, it makes sense. Like, it helps me get stats to the backup running backs. Otherwise, your backup running back never plays. So we'll play we'll play the rest of this half. We are we might be able to get some more pressure. Let's see what this defense can do. They'll come out throwing here on first down. A sure throw to Conklin. I said this Jets quarterback is not very good. But also Tyler Conklin and superstar. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And development is that. And Thibodeau is in for one play and he's already out. My God, who do they think Tyler Conklin is? The result only four yards there on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Second down and six now. We need them to check the ball down here. Back to throw again. He's got the connection. Not like that, though. Not like that, though. Like that. Unexperienced QB. So we have reached halftime. We're going to send the rest again. We are moving right through. We have 12 yards rushing. And eight yards passing. Take a turn for the touchdown, Ben Perez. Touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25. Actually, a lot of good, a lot of receivers do. All right, we are going to play key moments, and we're just going to kind of sim it out. And this game against the Jets looks like an L. I don't like to see this. I don't see Johnny on the field right now. Man, this running back is good. We're coming back. But still, there's no Johnny out here. This could be a rough season if we lost him now, too. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Ben Perez. That's Perez. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on four. From down at the 20. 
12. It's first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Oh, yeah. Rasheed Rice. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Steps away. Of course. This is going to be intercepted. And the Jets are going to get the I... football here. And looks like we lost a tackle right there. All right, now I gotta go down the field with the guy that uh, makes it easy for me to go down the field with. Well, I don't know. Watch Perez here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's five nine though. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. Well, they need a touchdown, and here they're saying we're not gonna get it ten yards at a time. They felt they needed to take a shot there to at least get them across the fifty. But that one falls incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. He'll look to throw. Looking left side of Make our way down the field. Yeah, I mean, fumbles are bad for anybody, though. Uh, like, Stroud fumbles a lot, I know. The Malik's neighbors is open. I should have thought it was Malik's neighbors. That's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens. Logan Thomas? Now this one is tied in out on the right side. A run play in here. See if we get a good block. We did not. Perez is getting tired. Hop. Hop. D hop. Okay. We're in the red zone again. Oh, bat it down. Alright, I'm looking Perez. Then Paul. I Okay. We need something else here. You can throw verts like this. It's hard. My red zone, my red zone target's kind of out of the game, and Logan Thomas is not very fast. Brett, let's go. Fight up. We're going to come back. We're going to win this game against the Jets. We are going to own New York City. The Giants and the Jets. Oh, Johnny's back. That's a breath of fresh air. Johnny! 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 Get high. Johnny Wilson's back. We don't even need any offensive game planning. We have Johnny Wilson back on the team. Oh, there's actually a hole there. Paul doesn't have that acceleration. Get ready. Johnny's going to burn his man. Look at him out there. Oh, he didn't burn his man. That's pass interference. Pass interference. Defensive pass interference. Let's go. <laughs> Sauce, you can't stop him. That's 100% me, but uh, 
and the reason why that pass interference happened was because of me, but... That almost just ruined that uh, run right there. Oh, they're saying we didn't fumble. Okay. So that would overturn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Second and six. Johnny! Johnny! I'm gonna go with an out for Johnny. Because it's guaranteed. Game, set, match. Johnny Wilson is the GOAT. Some people are like, hmm. I got a 99 overall wide receiver. I got 99 overall Zay Flowers. I have 78 overall Johnny Wilson, and you can't stop him. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever. GM of the year. All right, now we should probably actually check to see if Thibodeau got anything first. Two touchdowns for Andrew Paul. Johnny with 107 in the TD, baby. Perez gets 84 in a TD. Malik Neighbors not really uh, looking like a number one guy. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gunn, sir. Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. Yep, he got nothing. So. Right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports. So that's the end of Thibodeau's breakout. We beat the Jets. We actually need to do some lighting adjustment in here. Landon Jackson with an upgrade. Johnny deserves an upgrade. Johnny deserves an X Factor. He's going to be disappointed. He didn't get it, but we got the win. We just swept the New York teams. Thibodeau did not continue his breakout, but he's at an 88 overall now, so uh, we're pretty satisfied with how his uh, progression has gone. We are not going to play week three. We are not going to play week four. We're going to sim those two weeks. And our whole practice squad got signed again. Tight end, number one overall? Who do they got us taking? D-tackle. Arch Manning to the Rams. All right, who we got to resign? Who we got to bring back? I'm not sure on Amari Aurier. Definitely not Demar Hamlin. Newman's been pretty good so far. Uh, Jameis almost has already earned his contract, but I'm not giving it to him until the end of the season. Um, no. Uh, no, I think we're good. I think the only one I might like out of that group was that fullback. I might actually, yeah, let's go sign that fullback. Generally, I wouldn't. But, but he's a good blocking fullback. We have a four-year contract for a fullback. Uh, 
And regional focus scouting. All right. So in the West, we don't need QBs. Um, you are going to focus scout corners. I like the two we got. We just need more. Um, we are going to try to hit tight end out here. We are going to try to hit... Did I put the guys in the wrong spot? No, I didn't. D-tackle here. Well, and yeah, we won't go DN. Maybe we go D. D. And we might go national D tackle. All right. Now we gotta go sign a whole practice squad again. I bet you every single one of these guys gets signed off our practice squad though. All right. Let's make a quick music change. We'll go to some Juno. All right. Like I said, we're going to sim weeks three and four. Uh, even though we... Oh my god, we definitely have a shot to win weeks three and four. Let's just hope the computer can do it. And give us a 3-0 record going into the season. Um, we're going to blitz counter because I know they have a crazy pass rush out there in Vegas. Um, we are going to take uh, Guyton off of the focus players. We're going to put Andrew Paul out there, I guess. I, I never originally thought about doing that. I didn't really want to uh, because I can develop running backs. But he's playing well. I want him to develop a little bit faster. Start training. All right. Let's go beat the Raiders, please. Give us a 3-0 start. We've already taken down New York, the whole city. Johnny! He just makes me happy. I'll give him a five-year, uh, $200 million contract. Billy Slot. Um, we'll give him recuperation for now. Andrew Paul. Integra Shabola. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. I'm going to guess Shabola. All right. We're going to advance week. We're not going to play this week. Let's hopefully beat the Raiders. Ah, oh, we lost. Um, let's go check it. Uh, check that box score. Shadur looks like he had a bad game. Paul had a bad game.
Defensively, Jackson got a sack. Hurst got a sack. So we, we had some pressure. Um, Bailey, Thibodeau got a pick. McCullough got a pick. We, we played good defense. Love crispy song transitions. I don't uh, have many. I just have the album ones, the ones that like flow really well from album to album right now. But uh, I I just took that album off because I I think we listened to it twice in a row, the one that I had on. So now we're just on a on a, another artist that I like that I know is gonna be copyright free, which is Juno. All right. We're going to sim the Packers game again. What do you need out of Shadur? Just build chemistry. Score four offensive touchdowns? I don't know if our team can do that. Forecast heavy rain. I'm going to have to tell them to pass the ball because they will not be able to run the ball. Weekly strategy. Defend that short pass from Jordan Love. We're going to blitz counter again because, yikes, that is a great pass rush. Two passing touchdowns, 24 less points, 350 yards. And let's hope to win the turnover battle this game. Our defense is actually starting to kind of show up a little bit. Corners still struggle. But hey, next week when we play, there's a chance we're going to have Kalen King back. I don't... Oh my god, somebody broke their finger. I just saw that. Um, What did that just say in the injury report for us? Oh, uh, Robert Quinn. Who cares? Robert Quinn. Nobody cares but Robert Quinn. All right. I have great players. Thibodeau. Problem is, he's only a star for me. So he doesn't really develop very fast. He doesn't have abilities. But we did kind of steal him in a trade. I can't really complain too much. I say steal as if we didn't deserve it. Like make the deal. for They got Caleb Williams out of it. But Alright. And then auto upgrade all those because they're offensive linemen. Eckler, what do you get? 240 rushing yards and four touchdowns, maybe. All right. We're going to advance to next week. Oh, my God. Um... That's brutal, Sanders. They have Kamara and Aaron Jones. Our leading rusher was also Sanders. Yikes. Sanders is not playing very well. See, maybe that's the sign that that... So that Jameis Winston stat line that was being made fun of because, you know, he didn't throw any picks was actually a realistic stat line because um, the offense is actually that good. We have that many great weapons. Um, and we just need a quarterback to get them to them because we do. Johnny and Johnny and Neighbors and Perez are all fantastic. I don't have much to say about that. I know you don't. That was brutal, man. Right, he's gonna have worse accuracy next game. I will be playing next game. All right. 